Welcome in. I want to go over some of the basics on how Megasquirt CAN bus dashboarding works. For example, say you are looking for a dash that's a new digital dash for your vehicle and it runs CAN bus and is compatible with Megasquirt. You can set this up in your car, connect on the CAN bus, and what I'm going to show you is how to get the Megasquirt side of things outputting on the CAN bus so that you can read out the digital dash on your uh, on your readout here. Okay, so the very first thing I will link in the description is this page. And this is Megasquirt's documentation on how their dashboarding works. And the part we're gonna go over today is Megasquirt 2. Uh, this seems to be one of the most popular out there and it, what I'm gonna work on right now is a Microsquirt. So we're using a Microsquirt as an example with Megasquirt um, 2 firmware and this is the field list. So in the simple dashboarding, there are uh, a little over 20 outputs that you can read from to your dashboard right here. And uh, here's some of the information on how to set it up. And I'm gonna show you real quick how simple it is. So let's jump over to Tuner Studio real quick and check it out. So this is your typical Tuner Studio base layout. And what I'm going to show you how to do is go up here to the CAN bus and test modes area and go down to dash broadcasting and click that. So what this does is it enables a default broadcast to be sent out on the CAN bus with all of this information that we have right here, all of these that are constantly updating. So it'll send out your manifold pressure, engine RPM, coolant temperature, and so on. Um, and it will be continuously broadcast on the CAN bus. Well, if you're not using the CAN bus or you have CAN bus hooked up to other things and you're not using a dash, uh, you typically don't want that extra traffic on the CAN bus. So by default, it is not enabled. So I've got an Arduino sketch here, which I found from someone who made an awesome little Arduino project that pulls in CAN bus on Arduino from Megasquirt products, which I will link in the description. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to go to the serial monitor, which is giving us a constant readout of what it's seeing on the CAN bus. And I'm going to jump over to the dash broadcasting, enable it, and go ahead and burn. Now, if we jump over, you'll see right now we're starting to get the coolant temperature and throttle position. This isn't hooked up to a running engine, so it just has whatever the static values are that are coming in. And you can see right here, the throttle position is at 4% and engine RPM is zero, coolant temperature is at 180. And you come over and you see we're reflecting the same here. So currently on the CAN bus, we are getting these values. So that's as simple as it is as it gets. If you just want to hook up a digital dash and get the readout of the basic CAN bus dashboarding. All you need to do is go in and enable it like I showed you. Also on Megasquirt 3 products, you get a whole bunch more options to pull from on the CAN bus and you can do a lot more customization with this as well. And eventually I will make another video on showing you how to feed CAN bus messages back to the Megasquirt and make an action or a change um, from that. So. For right now, I just wanted to show you a, kind of a simple way of how this works and how easy it is to set up initially. If you have any other questions, drop them below. I'll try to get back to them. I'm diving headfirst into CAN bus and I've got a lot more videos on the way for Megasquirt and Max ECU products. So if you like what you see, consider subscribing, becoming a member or uh, dropping a super thanks. Thank you.